Hello friends, uh, today we are going to see isometric view of L-shaped plate having a rib and a semicircular feature. The question is given over here and this is the final solution. Here you can see the plate, this is the L-shaped plate which is having a semicircular feature at the base and this is a supporting member which is called as a rib section. Same time, the edges of the L-shaped plate, same time the edges of the vertical section of the L-plate has been chamfered. So let's start with the step-by-step -step approach to complete this object. Now here the problem is figure shows front view, top view and end view of a bracket. Draw isometric view and show overall dimensions. Now this question is given to you. Our first approach is with origin. Second thing if origin is not mentioned, see the views. Now they have mentioned front view, top view and the end view. End view is nothing but the side view. Even if they haven't mentioned anything over here, not even the origin, then we are using first angle projection method. So according to first angle projection method, this is your front view. This is top view. And of course, here you will get a left hand side view. And as per we have discussed in the previous sessions, left hand side view must be on the left of the origin. If LHSV comes over here, your front view must be here. And this plane is of course for the top view plane. So here, this is your LHSV, this is your front view and this is your top view. Now considering the origin, this origin is given with respect to this view and this view must be on the right of the origin. So here you can see the front view is on the right of the origin and automatically LHSV comes over here. Top view remains at the top plane only now get all the dimensions we have already discussed this is your front view so this is the base of the front view now if you come to the top view radius is 30 is given to you so total dimension the maximum dimension in the horizontal direction becomes 60 that is diameter of the semicircle so front view base is 60 mm it is mentioned over here now height so 20 plus 40 plus this thickness is uniform throughout this thickness is uniform throughout so this becomes again 20 so 20 plus 40 plus 20 it becomes 80 so height is 80 so you can see your front view is of 80 and having a base of 60 mm now coming to the left hand side view here the dimensions are not given with lhsv but we have already discussed the height of the front view is directly taken as a height of the side view so it becomes 80 so lhsv having a height of 80 mm now here you can see the front view has a height of 80 mm so this line is parallel with this parallel with this and they all are equal hence these two lines becomes of 80 mm now coming to the base so we have already discussed the vertical dimension of the top view must be considered as a base for the side view so here it is again 80 so LHSV base is 80. Whenever you come across this kind of question, always project vertical dimensions of the front view and top view. Here vertical dimensions of the front view is 80. So height of the LHSV becomes 80. And here vertical dimension is 20 plus 30 plus 30. So that is again 80. So that becomes base of the LHSV. So these are the required dimensions for the isometric box. So using these dimensions complete the isometric box. Now in lecture number 5 we have already done with the L shape. Now why L shape? If you go through the question you can see here there are a number of features and the object is not clear to you in a first attempt. So always find the base shape or you can say the basic shape that you can draw. So considering these three views, front view, top view and side view, inside view I can see this base shape that is the L part. And I know how to draw this L part. We have already discussed in the lecture number 5. So using this dimensions, this height is 80, base is 80 and this thickness is 20 mm. You can see here the thickness is 20 mm. It is mentioned over here. So using these three dimensions, complete the L shape. Kindly refer lecture number 5 to complete the L shape. Now, we are going for the chamfer surface. In the front you can see these are the slant surface. So, this slant surface are nothing but called as a chamfer surface. So, here the height is 20. This is 20. But now the total base is 60 and if you want to maintain here 20 and these two are like a symmetry or mirror image you can say. So, this must have 20 and 20 over here. So using these dimensions you can plot over here. Now from here at 20 mm plot first point, again at 20 mm second and the remaining will be the third at 20 mm. Similarly on this line you can plot this point and join them with the straight line. Now we need a height as well. So from here 20 mm down plot this point. 
now parallel to this you have to draw a line and then project this point on this line this line must be parallel with this all are isometric lines so must be parallel with the isometric lines only so here you will get 1 2 3 4 this 5 6 and 7 point now join the required points to show the slant surface now from this point to this point and from this point to this point so it gives you a complete slant surface over here now on this side in a 3d view you cannot see this surface so just join this point that is enough so this is the actual view of the object considering the chamfer surfaces now we will proceed with the semicircular part which is visible in the top view now here this semicircle is visible in the top view it means you have to draw the circle in the top plane this is your front plane this is side plane or you can say the profile plane and this is your top plane means from here you have to draw a circle but before going for the circle or semicircle you can say the radius is 30 given and if you want to fit the circle of radius 30 you need a isometric plane of 60 by 60 mm so here you can see the remaining portion because the thickness is 20 and base is 80 so 80 minus 20 it becomes 60 and this is already of 60 so you are automatically getting a isometric square plane of 60 by 60 now join the longest diagonal as we have discussed in the process of drawing isometric circle now accept these two corners okay because these two corners are taken by the longest diagonal so accept these two corners consider any of this corner this one or this one and through this corner join the opposite midpoints okay i repeat using this corner join the midpoints of opposite lines so here you will get a required point but we are going for the semicircle only so to draw this semicircular portion from here to here I need these two centers only so this is my C1 and this is my C2 so using C1 and distance up to this midpoint draw an arc to complete the arc I repeat C1 as the center and distance from C1 to this midpoint draw an arc till reaches till it reaches this midpoint now using center number C2 distance up to this midpoint draw an arc till it reaches the next midpoint so here you will get a semicircular part now as we have already drawn a problem based on a number of parallel circles so here we are going to use the same method so shift this center by 20 mm down shift this center by 20 mm down because this thickness is 20 mm you have to shift both the centers by 20 mm now center as a c1 and distance up to this midpoint draw an arc up to it reaches the next midpoint now using c2 from this midpoint draw an arc till it reaches this circular arc or you can say the upper circle because there is no need to go beyond this circular arc this much is enough okay so extend this arc till it reaches the upper circle that's it now draw tangent to both the circles but we need to remove this portion which coming inside so remove this portion so you will get the smooth curve or you can say the smooth semicircular surface at the base of the l-shaped plate now we are going for the rib section the portion is at the center you can see here in the top view it is at the center in the front view it is at the center and having a thickness of 12 mm so 12 mm so from center it is at 6 6 on both sides so first draw a line light construction plot the center similarly on this line plot the center and from here at 6 6 mm plot two points now through that draw a lines vertical lines and from these two points okay now here this 30 is given to you see this 30 can be projected over here so this becomes 30 so from here parallel to this isometric line draw a lines of 30 mm i repeat here if you go through this question and if you draw 45 degrees a line over here this 30 can be transferred over here and you will get 30 mm over here so this 30 is used over here to draw this line these lines are parallel to one of the isometric line this or this one and join this by drawing parallel to this one now complete the structure of the rib section and remove all the edges coming inside it so this is your final drawing showing isometric view of the given question with the overall dimensions i hope idea is clear to you thank you thanks a lot